Welcome back to another Microsoft Access tutorial video. Today what I want to go through is the uh, design view for reports and show you a couple little techniques that allow you to make the report much more viewable, readable, and be able to be better for your users. So I want to take this report here and I'm going to put it in design view. Uh, you'll probably be familiar with Northwind Sales. It's usually the the set of data that Microsoft sends uh, with the package as a tutorial. We're just going to use that data for now. And if I look at and at this report, it's a relatively short piece of data for this report. Not long, but it's long enough to, to give us an idea of a few things that we can do. So in design view, what I would like to do is show you this group and sort button up here. The group and sort button is similar to the group and sort that we encountered when we used the report wizard. But during the process of using the report wizard, it, it flowed through and, and gave us a screen that gave us very different uh, way to, to use the group and sort. But in here, when you're already in design view, if you want to modify the grouping and sorting, you can then click on this button and you'll see the groups and the sorting down in the lower pane. It also allows you to create a report in design view and then add the grouping and sorting later on in the process. So what I want to do here is I want to add a group and I'm going to group it by company ID. Now, one thing I want to make sure of is I want to make sure it says with a header section so that it puts this section right here for me. And then I want to group it, not by the entire value, but just by the first character. Now, if I go look at this report, just as it sits right here, what I see is, is a blank space here and a blank space here. In other words, that is the space that it is allowed for this company name header, but there's nothing in it at the moment. And what I want to do is I want to put something in it to give it some good visibility to what I'm trying to accomplish here. I'm going to add a, a sort by company name and a sort by order ID. And then I'll come up here and let's put a text box in here. And this text box is going to allow me to uh, put some information up here in this header that that'll be useful to my customer. I'm going to delete the label off this unbound text box and I'm going to place it up here in the corner and put a formula in here. I'm going to put, so go equals left string and company name and comma one. So what that does for me here is it allows me to have a formula in here that car captures just the first character of the company name and puts a value up in the header that's useful to to my customer. I'm going to go over here to my home ribbon and I'm going to make this 14 font and I'm going to make it bold. So now I've got a, a value up here that that makes some sense and is large like a title and visible. Now if I go to report view here this is what ends up happening. You have A here and then you have the A's listed below and B and you have the B's listed below. And not only do you have that, you see bottom dollar markets here has the, their three um, grouped together in sorted order by order ID. And so you see the data laying out. Okay. If I looked at it in print preview mode, um, you can see that it goes down here and it looks like it goes on to two pages. And so we can look at the second page here. Probably not much on the second page. Yes, R and S is on the second page. So what you see is the ability at this point to, um, to format a report in such a way that it makes it um, a very useful uh, report to users if they want to take it into a staff meeting or perform those type of uh, functions uh, with your reports. So thank you for joining and hope to see you again. I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. 
We have great content on, on the site and I'm putting more content out every single day. There's a link to one of them on the side of the screen over here. Also, please help me grow the channel by subscribing. So hit that subscribe button a little bit lower on the other side of the screen and hope to see you again. Thanks.